Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa runs on Legendary. Today, I decided to do an Africa team, and I was like struggling in my mind. I was like, I didn't really want to do a massive Africa team, but I wanted to do a nation that was sort of in between. And in most of my runs, and most people's comments as well, people say that Mali are actually a very overpowered team on this game. I mean, look at them, they're a three and a half star team. And you know what actually shocked me today as well that I only just learned? Like, this here, that here, I know it says Algeria at the top, but just ignore that. This here is Mali, this whole thing. I didn't realise this whole, like, country here is Mali. I thought Mali was, like, over here somewhere. But no, it's like right here, like surprise me how big this country actually is. So we jump straight into the draw and we're going to advance it like we usually do. What group am I in? I'm in a group with Brazil, Ivory Coast and Azerbaijan. The first match of the group stage is against Brazil. Now Mali, like I said at the start, um, they're quite an overpowered African team. Like sometimes in my runs, they actually make it quite far into a World Cup. They sometimes beat me in my, some of my runs as well. I mean, not too many, but like in my earlier runs, I've seen Mali. I'm fairly sure in one of the finals, I had to play Mali as well. Like Mali got to the final in one of my runs. I can't remember which one that was, but yeah, they are seemingly a uh, overpowered African team. Um, they must have had some really good players to be a three and a half star team back in 2010. I'm not sure about them now. I'm not sure how good they are now. But I know they got a bloke called Keita, who I seemingly remember he used to play for... Am I right in saying he used to play for Barcelona? And you also got Canute as well. I know Canute. He's a big, powerful striker. Let's see what we can do then. Let's see what we can do with Mali. I'm hoping that they can have a deep run in this, you know? I wanted to be an African team because uh, FIFA TV has also been streaming the African games and they've been so good to watch. Like, it's so refreshing sometimes to watch football from other parts of the world rather than just your own, like, Premier League stuff that we got here in England. What I'm hoping to do is, like, Knute or Maiga go, like, ridiculous form and just push their way past everybody and win this World Cup. That's what I did with uh, Ben Jani in my Zimbabwe run. If you want my early prediction for this one, I reckon Mali, I mean, the group we're in is hard, but I think that we will have a round of 16, maybe quarterfinals on our hands with Mali. I think they are overpowered, Mali, on this. I think they're secret overpowered. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Look at that. Now, Canute is through. Brazil's defence were literally just static on that play. Unfortunately, oh, hang on. Yeah, we still got it. We still got it. I mean, I was about to say, unfortunately, the goalkeeper saved it. But the ball bounced up in the air to Canute. And yet, you would be mad about that. You would absolutely be mad about that. I mean, look at this just on the replay. Have a shot. The ball came off his shoulders and Canute just goes right through everybody and just smashes it in and it's 1-0 to Mali. What a result this would be for Mali if they actually pick up a win against Brazil. That's a good ball. That's a really good ball. They're going to score. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything about that because the defence just let everybody go through. Rubinho scores and it's 1-1 uh, one, one to Brazil. Well, it's half-time and it's a respectable 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. I mean, Mali have fought really well. Brazil probably shouldn't be in this position, but... You know, it's surprising that Mali are this good on this game. I didn't know how they did in 2010. Like, maybe they came ridiculously close to qualifying and then maybe lost out to, like, someone like Ivory Coast or Ghana or something. Go for finesse. That's a beautiful finesse, but the goalkeeper had my number. Um, that was so close. I mean, I had I was getting close down, so I was just like, yeah, turn around. Nice little finesse shot. It was going towards net, but not quite... Header. Oh, that's a. Ah, oh, that was so close. I thought that was destined to go into the back of the net. Good ball. That's a brilliant ball. And a good goal as well. I mean, he had like two men around him and he still managed to pull it into the top bins. It is Canute. I'm guessing it's Freddy Canute, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. Because that's the only Freddy. Can like, the only Canute I know. But yeah, well, great. Who did he play for? Who did he play for in club? I want to say, I, I want to, like, who did he play for? I, I can't actually remember. I'm going to have to Google it after I um, finish this gameplay. Go on, Canute. Look at him. He's ready. He's ready for a hat trick in this game. Can he make history of Mali? Oh, almost. That's game over. We just beat Brazil in our opening match 2-1. Not, like, comfortably, but still, I felt like the defence were just 
like, very in control of that match. Whenever Brazil tried to press me quite a lot, I was able to shut them down because, like I said earlier, Mali seemed to be very strong. Like, the whole team seemed to be very strong, very big players. And, um, yeah, I hope that can serve me well in the other two matches in the group stage. Azerbaijan is our second match, and um, no disrespect to Azerbaijan, but it should be a W. This should be an easy W. I mean, I might be eating my words after the gameplay. Look at that. Look at all those colours in the background. I'm telling you right now, like, African, like, like the, the flags and the colours on this game are way better than any other nation. Like, because you've got so... It's, I think it's the combination of the green and the yellow. Go on, Kanute. Go on, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was just... Easy as you like. Canute scores and it's 1-0 to Mali. I feel like in this first sort of like 30 minutes, like Azerbaijan have controlled the ball okay, but we haven't done a good job in retaining possession ourselves. Although we got the goal, I feel it's just a lucky break, lucky through ball, got past the defence with a stronger striker and scored. That was a decent ball. Is he going to get there? He might. Go on, Canute. Ah, oh, unlucky with the shot, and he just gets a rebound and straight in. I mean, this guy is on fire at the moment. Uh, what was it, like four goals in two matches? Insane form by Canute. It was very lucky. What was that defender doing there? I guess he was trying to clear it. He should have cleared it the other way. There were other defenders there to support him, and um, we got the lucky rebound on that shot. Just need you to get a hat-trick here. Come on. Let's go. Canute off the post and the goalkeeper makes a very weird save and he hits the post again. Canute. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have shot in that situation on the second attempt. And maybe I should have passed it out, but didn't really have many options. Come on, Canute. Look at you. He's just like, I'm a beast. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Underneath the keeper and it's 3-0. I mean, yeah, okay, it's Azerbaijan. No disrespect to them, but they are like a, a one-star team. So we should be beating them by at least three or four goals. Over the top to Canute. Can he control it well? He kind of can. Yeah, I think he has. Yeah, 4-0. Canute's got all the goals in this match. This might be worrying for the rest of the World Cup because Canute is on fire. I know it's Azerbaijan, but still, like, four goals in one match. This guy is crazy. Well, that's a win that would surprise none of you, really, because it's Azerbaijan and we should have beaten them, like I said at the start, and we did. We're on really good form as well. The Brazil match would have helped. This one doesn't really help us that much with form because they are a lower team than us. So this is our group then. So Mali are top with six points, obviously, with a six to one goal difference. Ivory Coast and Brazil are currently battling it out. Now, Ivory Coast need to beat me to qualify and Brazil need to beat Azerbaijan. So, obviously, the odds are in Brazil's court, really, because Brazil are definitely going to beat Azerbaijan. There's no question about it. Will Ivory Coast beat me? It remains to be seen. Here we are then, Mali versus Ivory Coast, the match that we've been waiting for, really. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's an, it's an all-African match. I mean, who's not excited about that? The African qualifiers have been on for the past couple of days as well. I've enjoyed watching them. I'm just going to try and weave my way into the box and a shot and a great save by the Ivory Coast keeper. I thought that was destined to go into the bottom corner. We managed to get our way into the box. There's about five defenders there, so I don't know how they allowed that. Mali's tackling is pretty good on this. Like, look at that. I just managed to tackle Ivory Coast. Just easy as you like. That was a buoy as well that I tackled. Good header. And that's straight in. I think that was uh, Canute again. He's just on form. He's on fire. Canute on fire. Your defence is terrified. Well, Azerbaijan and Brazil are still drawing. Can you believe that? That's pretty insane for a team like Azerbaijan to hold Brazil to a nil-nil at the moment. There's still 45 minutes left and the game can change massively. But um, I'm quite lucky to be 1-0 up as well because it's been a very even game. Ivory Coast have had their chances. No. Azerbaijan have gone 1-0 up against Brazil. That's huge. They've held them for so long. And now they're 1-0 up against Brazil. That helps Ivory Coast here because Ivory Coast were about to go out. Now it looks like Azerbaijan are helping them out massively. Why don't I get help like that from one-star teams? Oh, okay. Well, that was short-lived, wasn't it? 1-1. One, one. And um, to be honest, that game is probably a little bit more exciting than this one. This one's turned into... Oh, it's 2-1 now. This one has turned into a slide tackle fest, a little bit of a foul fest. They're going for it. 
No good block from the header there. And that's 1-0 to Mali. We finished and we're through to the round of 16 very comfortably. Brazil come with us. And, um, yeah, I'd say Mali been very good in this run. I mean, the only person that seems to want to score is Canute. So we need to kind of sort that out and spread the goals across the team. Let's see who we got then. We got Croatia in the round of 16. So a very tough match to um, start off in the tournament tree. Let's hope that we can beat Croatia. This is how it's looking. England beat Slovakia 1-0 and Slovenia beat Switzerland 2-1. Brazil beat Chile 2-0. Zimbabwe lost against Turkey 1-0. Uh, Sweden beat Cameroon 1-0. Uh, Germany beat Portugal on penalties and then we've got us. We are, we're against Croatia and then there's Italy versus Holland. So um, no smaller teams in there really. I think if I go through I'll be one of the smaller ones in there. Maybe apart from Slovenia. But let's see if we can get past Croatia. Oh thanks for that game. It's like it's like, you want to beat Croatia? No, you can do it without Canute. <laughs> I swear that's scripted. That injury was so scripted. Well, we're against Croatia without our star striker. Canute's got like six or seven goals and then the game's like, have an injury. It's like, thanks for that. Croatia are playing um, Mandzukic up front. A very young Mandzukic on that note as well. He retired from football the other day. I saw it on his Instagram. Very, very um, sad, really, for me, because I love that player. I think he, I think he was pretty good. Like I, I thought he was a good footballer, but unfortunately, he's been bouncing around clubs ever since uh, the 2018 uh, World Cup. He's been bouncing around clubs left, right, and centre, and um, he's gone into tennis now, which is um, a very surprising move. But I wish him the best. I wish him the best. I hope he does well in tennis. I think we need to utilise Maiga, maybe Sadibi. If Sadibi, oh, that's his first shot. Petticosa with the good save. Canute was on ridiculous form. Absolutely nuts. And um, yeah, like without him, it's just this World Cup's going to be a bit of a nightmare to deal with. They go for the header and they scored. I, that's probably Olic, was it? Oh, yeah, it was Olic, yeah. 20th minute. If anybody's going to score a header against me from Croatia, I thought it would have been Mandzukic, but no, it was Olic. He out-jumped my defender. Very surprising, really, because I thought my defence was actually quite strong. That's the first... Well, no, the second goal he conceded, sorry, in this World Cup. Sadibi, go on. No, OK, we got it back. Oh, go on, go on, go on, yes! OK, we got it back. Croatia messed up. And Sadibi scores. And, um, yep, he's filling Canute's boots already. Although it was a lucky goal. Oh, no. Eduardo go through. Our defence just literally fell apart then. Eduardo, that was a good save by Sadibi, the goalkeeper. <laughs> okay. Well, we got two Sadibis on the field. Go on, get in the box. Okay, that's got to be a penalty. That definitely is a penalty. And Croatia are in trouble now. Bagayoko. Yes, he scores. And it's 2-1. This team is pulling together without Canute. We're holding on. There's only about six minutes of in-game time. We played really well to stop Croatia from going from goal. Can we get one more goal to seal this? Go on. Shoot. Oh, just wide. Just clear it. Just clear it. There we go. We beat Croatia 2-1. A very hard-fought match. Both teams were really, really in control of that game. I saved Croatia a little bit more than me. I felt like I made a few mistakes that made Croatia go through. Luckily, my keeper was on form. We did it without Canute. Now, I'm thinking that Canute is still injured for another game. And we've either got to play Italy or Holland, which is not ideal. We've got to play Holland in our next match in the quarterfinal. So my prediction was right that I'd said either around the 16 or quarterfinal. We got it. And um, this is how it's looking like. So um, we got to play Holland, of course. England beat Slovenia 2-1. Brazil beat Turkey 2-1. And Sweden versus Germany in the other quarterfinal. And then that's what your semi-final situation looks like. Either England or Brazil in the final if we get that far. Quarterfinal time against Holland. I'm hoping I can beat Holland because then if I go into the semi-final, Canute will come back and will actually be at full strength. It's going to be tough though. Holland, very difficult team to deal with. I mean, we dealt with Brazil. We've dealt with Croatia. 
we've dealt with Ivory Coast recently. So who's to say that we can't deal with Holland? Go on, go on, go on. Yes! Great goal. Who was that? I think it was Sadibi. I think he was. He's filling um, Canute's boots very well. We go 1-0 up against Holland. They stood off of me on that play. I managed to turn around and a nice finesse shot. Tambora, come on. Keep running, keep running. Look at him. He's like really open. Just need to get a good cross. Cross that in. Decent. Oh, just over the bar. Mali have got some serious form at the moment. And they are riding a massive wave. And can they just get more goals in this? Hedda. Oh, my God. That was a good save. I, we're all over Holland. I feel like now we've reached the point that Mali are kind of unstoppable at the moment. I feel like we're reaching that point. When Freddy Canute comes back, it's just going to be absolutely beast. That's a penalty, yes! I saw my player, like, literally, like, get, like, basically wrestling move to the floor. It looked like it. It looked like I got slammed to the floor. What's Van Persie made the foul, apparently? What happened? So, I, I was going for the shot. I came in for the tackle, and that's why my player sort of, like, crashed to the floor. Okay, bagger Yoko. Let's go. We're going to go to the left again, like you did last time. And it pays off, and it's 2-0. Wow, who would have thought that Mali would be beating Holland like this? This is absolutely absurd. The form is amazing. It feels like they're playing a few players that I've never seen, like Shars. Like, I've never heard of that guy. Like, uh, someone will tell me, like, he's done something in the comments or whatever. But, like, I've never heard of him and they're playing him. It just seems like a reserve player. Let's go for the shot. I'm outside the box. Oh, the keeper was literally inside his own net. On that one, it was going like near post. To be honest, guys, this has been a bit of a dead match. Like in the second half, like the second half, like none of us have really gone through. It's just been a massive midfield battle, and it's just been a bit dead. To be honest, I mean, here's a chance, and that was close. I mean, that was the only chance of the second half, really, that I could say that actually came close. Oh. One last chance for Holland. Not like it would really matter. It's like the 90th minute. Good cross. And they got it still. They're going to score that. Yeah, they did because of that wicked deflection. Holland get a goal, but it's too late. And Dirk Kout gets it. Far too late for them to make any kind of like real comeback. And there we are. We beat them. 2-1. I mean, it was 2-0 for like basically the whole 90 minutes. They didn't even do that much against me. I'm very disappointed in Holland, really. They didn't play well against me. And to be honest, like, <laughs> I was kind of half asleep in that game because... Like, they just weren't doing much. It was so easy to defend against them. It seemed like they were playing players that they wouldn't usually play, like some reserve players and stuff. So, our semi-final matchup for us is against Sweden. And then, if we win that, we'll be against England in the World Cup final. If we win that. Canute is basically guaranteed a top goal scorer. He's got seven. There's no one else that can beat him. Italy have been knocked out. La Quinta had the second top goal scorer. So, um, yeah, unless England, like, destroy me 8-0 in the final, if I get there, or Sweden get a ton of goals against me, then, you know, it won't matter. So, yeah, congratulations to Canute. Here we are then, semi-final against Sweden. Not the opponent that I really expected. I was expecting Germany, but fair play, they are here for a reason. So they must be on some good form, just like us. Hoping that Mali can get to the final after this game. I'm really hoping so. I hope this game is really, really competitive. Semi-finals are usually where I blow it on runs. Because I feel like in semi-finals, it just seems like teams, like especially when I use them, just don't actually want to play. So it's going to be interesting to see what Mali do. Go on, Canute. Oh, good shot. And the rebound. And he scores. That's his eighth goal in this World Cup. He has been absolutely on fire. We've been pressurising Sweden for about 21 minutes. And it finally paid off. Get in front of it. That was a good sliding tackle. I mean, it went out for a corner, but a very good cut out. If he didn't get in front of that, it definitely would have been like a situation where he turned. Oh, my God. That was a good goal. That was one of the defenders, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Melberg with the powerful header. And we go back to 1-1. Sweden, overjoyed with that one. That was a really good header. Like a really powerful header. It came in from the corner. He just went bang. Just went top corner. Nobody could stop it. Been a tough match. A really tough match so far. I mean, that goal that we conceded was a little bit unlucky because nobody really closed him down. Although it was a good goal. 
but it just feels like in semi-final situations when I get here that the team just doesn't really perform their best. And I'm talking not just Mali, I'm talking any team that I play against. Just seems like there seems to be a semi-final sort of like wall which I cannot really get over with most teams. It's very strange. Oh my god, Sweden are just so defensive in this one. Like, I feel like in a semi-final, it always, always is harder than any of the other rounds. Unless, oh my god, that's going in, isn't it? Oh my god, that was so lucky that was slightly over here. It's going to go to extra time because I can't control the ball properly. This is such a shame. I feel like it's not a conspiracy. I'm telling you this right now. Teams play way better than anything, any other round than the semi-final. I'm not joking. No, no, of course. I knew that would happen. I knew it. When it got down like that, I was like, yep, yeah, that's 100% a goal because the defenders were too lazy to deal with it. It got crossed in by Ibra. Why are they playing him on the wing? I just don't understand that. Look at that. Four defenders around him. Goalkeeper couldn't say that. He didn't have any chance. It was a rocket by Kieran Kjellström. It always happens all the time. It basically ruins a good run. I mean, it's not been a bad run at all with Mali. But I expected, like, a little bit. Yes! Come on! We've saved it! That was a brilliant goal. <laughs> Finally, it's Sissoko with the goal. I think that's his first goal in this tournament. <laughs> I was, like, complaining so much then. And then I found a good opportunity to weave it in. And look at that. Top bins. See you later, Sweden. Uh, that was a poor ball, Canute. I feel like you've lost your sharpness a little bit since getting injured, which is kind of realistic, to be fair. Players are usually a little less sharper when they're injured. But now we're going to penalties, and it's all 50-50 from here. Come on, Canute. You've got to score. Oh, no, it's Ibrahimovic, sorry. Like, he's got his first pen, and he scores. That was immediate. Literally, it didn't really give me any time to think. Right, now it's Canute. Can you score your pen? Why is the bar going super fast? Right, we just got it in the green, and we score... Luckily, because the keeper went the uh, right way. Right, who's next? Kim Kellstrom. Can we save his pen? I'd like to do that because he scored a good goal against me. Go on. Oh, what? I went that way. I went that way. And it just... Okay, well, okay. It must have been a perfect pen. Bagger Yoko. Scores straight away. Straight, pretty much straight at the keeper. If the keeper moved a little bit, he would have got it. Okay, it's Mastrovic. I'm guessing that's how you say it. And he scores again. They keep going to the left. Like, please. Like, can we stop that? Okay, Diara. This bar is, like, so quick. It's ridiculous. I'm so lucky I scored that pen. Okay. Next is Rosenberg. What can we do here? Can we save his pen? Can we do it? I went that way. I actually went that way. But yet still, it didn't save it. Like, what's going on? Sissoko. Okay, that's yellow. That's really bad. Okay, fine. I guess yellow is sort of like a 50-50 chance of missing it. And I got lucky. I don't know. Svensson, come on. Let's see if we can get you... Oh, I just go down the middle. Okay. Well, who's next for us then? I'm guessing it's Kater. Uh, it's Kater. Nice. Kater... He's got it in the yellow. That's not good. We're going to go this way. And everybody just keeps going to the left most of the time. I don't know why I'm not going anywhere else. Okay, it's Holman. Holman, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, another good penalty. We haven't even missed. None of us has missed. Sweden are basically perfect at the moment. So are Mali. But still, oh my god, look at this bar. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's good. We're going to go this way. Yep, yeah, okay. We fooled the goalkeeper. If I went left, he probably would have saved it. Next one, Larson. We're going to get goalkeepers in this one, aren't we? Larson, he scores. There's so many perfect pens by Sweden. It's actually nuts. It's actually nuts. Tambora, he's been pretty good. Look at his bar. Okay, that's yellow. That's not great. Okay, well, fine. Went straight in anyway. Doesn't even matter. Even on legendary difficulty, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Melberg, the first goal scorer for Sweden. He's uh, put it in the yellow. That's top bins. That was a perfect penalty by a defender. Are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Okay, Sumer. Let's go, Sumer. Let's go. Can you score? He just about. Just about. I mean, the hand was so close. Okay, Nilsson. Nilsson. What can he do? Oh, it's so perfect penalties against me. Like, this is actually nuts. Actually nuts. 
Okay, Berth, he's the right back. Oh, that's really bad. That's a bad pen, and he misses it. That is disgraceful. Oh, my... Well, not disgraceful. That's the wrong word, but... Oh, my God. Sweden! What what was wrong with that game? I don't understand it. They scored some really good goals against me, and their penalties, guys. Their penalties were absolutely insane. Some of them were really good. Melberg scored a top bin pen. He's a defender. So it's come full circle. Third place playoff against Brazil. And um, we've already beaten them once. Can we beat them where it matters in this one? Mali would love to get a medal. But this is their best finish in the World Cup. Canute's been fantastic. I mean, the whole team's been fantastic. It's just the semi-final matches, like I said... They're the hardest matches to play on this game because the computer really ramps it up. It really ramps up the ante. And um, I just couldn't deal with Sweden in that one. I mean, we got close, but penalties, just unlucky, really. The bars on those penalties were going so quick. Like, I had to time them right. It was just a shame that we went out like that. Going to need you to go through, Canute, and you have... And that's a brilliant goal. That's a brilliant goal. Is that your 10th goal this World Cup? It might be in the ninth minute to match his number. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they just scored. No defensive play at all. They made it look so easy. Kaka scores immediately afterwards. And it's 1-1. Like, that's just so frustrating. Like, to break down like that immediately after we score, it's just it's stupid. Oh, wow, what a rocket. I didn't even expect that to go in. And it's Maiga with the goal, if that's how you say it. I mean, like, is that his first goal or was that his second goal of the campaign? I don't know, but it was an absolute bullet from that cross. Really good. I mean, the computer didn't even want to show me. Thanks for that. There we go. We beat Brazil yet again, and we are third place playoff winners. We got that bronze medal. And to be honest, Mali deserved it. Mali really deserved it. I think they deserved a little bit more than that. I feel they deserved, like, you know, second place or first place. So as you can see, England beat Sweden 2-1 in the final. And as you can see on the right-hand side, Freddy Canute got the top goal scorer with nine goals. One off of double digits. Incredible campaign for him and for Mali. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.